Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Peace be upon you all. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to crochet this tiny um, pouch. It's uh, very useful if you have some small stuff in your bags and if you are like me and that I I, I lose my small small stuff all the time, especially if I have if I have some coins or if I have like hands free or anything like that i keep just losing the stuff st uh, stuff into my bag and so that's why this is a great idea so it's very easy to make we are going to make it in uh, four pieces we are going to make one square square piece and then we are going to make these four triangular uh, pieces and then we are going to join them into uh, one piece the real thing is assembling them it's not very complicated but it's a little bit tricky but it's not that difficult so the yarn i used you can use any type of the yarn or any ply of the yarn the one i used is this one it's a danish yarn and i into this 50 gram of the yarn this is there is 150 meter of the yarn and i used three millimeter crochet hook it's uh, the length or width of the uh, of the pouch is approximately four by four so that you guys uh, get some ideas that how big is this so this is how it's made it's very easy to open like that and it's very easy to close it you don't need any buttons you don't need any mm, zipper or anything like that this is how it is so let's get started so we are going to start making our pouch by making these triangles i have already made three of them we are going to need four of them so the fourth one i will make on on camera so to start our triangle i am going to first of all do the slip knot like that and then <clears throat> i will make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 then I will wrap the yarn twice around the crochet hook and I will make a treble crochet into our this is our first chain I'm going to make a treble crochet into our first chain like that and then I will make seven double crochets into the same chain one <coughs> two three four five six and seven and then i will make one more treble crochet into the same chain like that at the end of this round we are not going to count the starting chain so uh, we are going to end up with nine stitches seven double crochet and two treble crochet on both sides one treble crochet on both sides then i'm going to make chain four one two three four and this starting chain four does not count as our first treble crochet so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn my work and then this is the first available stitch so i am going to make a treble crochet into that you have four loops on your hook grab through first two and then two loops and then two loops and then i'm going to make one double crochet into the same stitch like that then i'm going to make one double crochet into next three stitches one one double crochet into next three stitches two and three now we are on to our central point so we are going to make two double crochets one and two and then we are going to make one treble crochet 
into the same central point and then two more double crochets into the same stitch one and two this is our central point so we made five stitches into that we made two double crochets one treble crochet and two double crochets into the same stitch and the treble crochet this one is going to be our central point where we are going to make our increasings then make one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three this is our last stitch this one so we are going to make one double crochet and one treble crochet into the same last stitch like that and we are not going to make any stitches into this uh, starting chain now i will make chain four one two three and four and i will turn i will make a treble crochet into the into this first available stitch I'm going to make a treble crochet and then one double crochet into the same stitch then I will make <coughs> one double crochet into next six stitches one two three four five and six now we are on to this our central treble crochet so we are going to make two double crochets one and two and then one treble crochet and then two more double crochets into the same central stitch one and two so we have made five stitches into our central stitch which is that we made two double crochet one treble and two double crochets at the start we made one treble crochet and one double crochet into the same stitch and then we made one double crochet into next six stitches now we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to make one double crochet into next six stitches two three four five and six now we are on to our last stitch this one we are going to make one double crochet and one treble crochet into the same last stitch like that so now we are going to make chain five a uh, four one two three and four and we are going to turn our work around and then we are going to make one treble crochet into first stitch and then one double crochet into the same stitch like that now we will make one double crochet into next nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine one treble crochet and one double crochet into the first and then one two three four five six seven eight nine double one double crochet into next nine double crochets now this is our central point central uh, treble crochet i'm going to make two double crochets one and two and then one treble crochet and two more double crochets into the same central treble crochet like that five stitches into the central point two double crochet one treble two double crochet 
then I'm going to make one double crochet into next nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine double crochets after the central point one two three four five six seven eight nine and now i will make one double crochet and one treble crochet into the last stitch like that Now what we are going to do, we are going to make chain 1 and then we will work, uh, we will turn our um, work uh, clockwise and we are going to work anti-clockwise here. Yes, I have made chain 1, what I will do is I will make one single crochet. I'm going to make one single crochet into the same stitch where the last stitch we have just made and then I'm going to make one single crochet here under these both loops on the side of the uh, treble crochet there are two loops I'm going to make one single crochet by inserting the hook under the both loops and there are two more loops of the same treble crochet I am going to make one single crochet into that and then this is the this tiny hole is the top of this uh, uh, what you call it treble crochet and the base of this treble crochet so I am going to make one single crochet into that and then I'm not going to make any stitches into this uh, uh, chain 4. I'm going here, I'm going a little bit down into this treble crochet. And I will make one single crochet into the first two loops of the side of the tre treble crochet. And then there are two, two more loops of the same treble crochet, this one. So I'm going to make one single crochet into that and then again this is the top of this treble crochet and base of this treble crochet there is a tiny hole I will make one single crochet into that and then one single crochet into the side loops of the treble crochet first two loops and then next two loops and then again this is the base of the treble crochet I will make one single crochet into that I will skip this chain and I will go direct to this on the side of this treble crochet and I will make one single crochet into that and one single crochet into next two loops and this is the uh, first chain of the starting chain where we made all of our uh, stitches in the first round I am going to make one single crochet into that and then I will repeat the pattern which I repeated here. I will just make one single crochet in first two loops of the treble crochet and then the second two loops of the side of the treble crochet here. And then I will make one single crochet. And then we will make a single crochet into this loop which is the base of the uh, treble crochet into the next round this is the pattern I'm going to repeat until here off camera and then we will start working on our uh, square I'm at the end of this uh, row and I just wanted to tell you guys that just make one single crochet 
here also at the end of this uh, what you call it side and then cut the yarn and weave in the ends and uh, here you go your triangle is ready I have already made three so all of four uh, triangles are ready now we are going to work on our square so to start our square <coughs> you can start it by in two ways you can start it by making magic ring or the yeah or you can make simple four chains basic chain fours one two three and four and then slip stitch into first chain like that and you have this tiny hole what you are going to do now is you are going to make chain three one two three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet we are going to make 10 double crochets into this ring 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 And then you are going to slip stitch into the first double crochet into our first double crochet like that you should have 10 double crochets at the end of this round then make chain 3 1 2 3 and chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet so we are going to make so we are going to make two double crochets into each and every double crochets two double crochets into the first double crochet and two double crochets into next double crochet one and two this is the pattern we are going to we are going to repeat that we will make two double crochets in each and every double crochet to the end so I'm at the end of round two and at the end of this round you should end up with 20 double crochets. I'm going to skip this starting chain three and I'm going to slip stitch into our first double crochet. Then I will make chain three, one, two, three. So our chain three does not count as our first double crochet. So I'm going to make one double crochet into the first stitch. And one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three in total this is our starting chain three we are not going to count that uh, as a stitch so we have four double crochets into next stitch which is this one I am going to make two double crochets one two and then one treble crochet into same stitch and then two more double crochets into same stitch one and two so we made one double crochet in four stitch in four stitches one two three four and then into the next we made two double crochet one treble and two more double crochets into the same stitch this is going to be our corner 
so this is the pattern we are going to repeat three more times that we are going to make one double crochet into next four stitches and into the fifth one we are going to make two double crochet one treble crochet and two double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat three more times and i will make rest of the row off camera and then i will resume the video when i'm here so i am at the end of this round so what i am going to do is i am going to skip this chain 3 starting chain 3 and i am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet like that then i will make chain 3 1 2 3 and as i said that our starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet so i am going to make one double crochet into next one two three four five and six double crochets one two three four five six and this is our central treble crochet we are going to make two double crochets one and two and then one treble crochet because this is our corner point this is the corner uh, one of the corner of the square one treble crochet and two more double crochets into the same stitch like that five stitches into the same stitch two double crochet one treble two double crochets now we are going to make one double crochet into next eight stitches one two three four six seven and eight after this central point we made one two three four five six seven eight double crochets one double crochet into next eight double crochets so we are going to make two double crochets this is our uh, corner two double crochets and then one treble crochet and then two more double crochets into the same treble crochet like that so this is the pattern we are going to repeat from this point that we are going to make one double crochet into next eight double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight and then this is our central uh, this is our corner and uh, we are going to make two double crochets one and two and then one treble crochet and then two more double crochets into the same treble crochet like that and then I will repeat the pattern by making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochets. One double crochet into eight each of next eight uh, double crochet after central point and then this is our uh, this sorry this is not central point this is the corner point so this is the central uh, uh, treble crochet of the corner I'm going to make two double crochets one and two and then I will make one treble crochet and two more double crochets into the same stitch 
then you remember that when we started our round we made one uh, double crochet into six uh, stitches so we have two remaining stitches here because we should have eight double crochet between two corners so we are going to make two double one double crochet into next two stitches to make our eight double crochet and then I am going to skip this starting chain 3 and I am going to make a slip stitch into the first uh, double crochet and now I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I am going to make one double crochet into next eight double crochets two three four five six seven and eight this is our cent this is our corner uh, what you call it uh, treble crochet so I am going to make two double crochets one and two one treble crochet and two double crochets one and two now i am going to make one double crochet i'll just place a stitch marker here so that it's easy for me to explain later on i'm going to make one double crochet into next 12 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and this is the central uh, what you call it uh, stitch of the corner the treble crochet I'm going to make two double crochets one and two and then one treble crochet and two more double crochets into the same stitch and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat this is the last stitch of the corner so i'm going to make one double crochet into next one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve into next uh, twelve uh, double crochets i'm going to make one uh, double crochet and then into this central treble crochet we are going to make two double crochets one treble crochet and two double crochets and then we are going to repeat the same pattern once again and I will resume the video when I am here after completing the last corner you should have four more stitches left so we are going to make one double crochet into each of those four double crochets three and four and then I am going to join on the top of the first double crochet like that so our corner is complete what we are going to do now is we need to do some assembling we need to we need we need to assemble uh, five, all of these five pieces one is square and four are triangle so we are going to assemble them so what to assemble it it's very easy we just need to concentrate on some points this is the right side of the uh, square I am going to place it like that so the right side of the uh, square is facing down and then I will take a triangle and I will place it like that and I will insert into the central uh, I will insert the stitch marker into the central treble crochet of the triangle and central treble crochet of the 
corner of the uh, square and then I will take the other triangle and I will I will place it like that and then I will remove the stitch marker and I will uh, place the stitch marker into the last into the last stitch of the triangle and into the central treble crochets of the this triangle and this uh, square it's a little bit bit complicated but I'm trying my best to explain like that so you have placed two of them and then the third one and then you are going to place the third one like this And we are going to place a stitch marker into the central treble crochet of the square the first stitch of the triangle and then the central treble crochet of the triangle number two one two three and into this first available stitch on the triangle number Four. this is a little bit tricky part and then we will place a place a stitch marker here into the central treble crochet of the uh, triangular number one the one which is the upper one and then into the last or first stitch of the second triangular and then into the central triangle uh, sorry uh, yeah and then into the central treble crochet of the corner of the square and now we are missing just one last triangle so we are going to take the triangle and place it under this triangular triangular which was the first triangular we placed and then we will place it like this I am going to remove the stitch marker I'll just like this Yes, and then we are going to place one stitch marker here as well. Into the central one, like that. <coughs> this is how it looks right now so what we are going to do now is that we are going to the real thing is assembling it and it's it can be a little bit tricky but it's not that difficult i'm going to remove this and now so we are going to this is where our yarn is right now you can just cut the yarn and then reattach it anywhere you want to if you if you don't feel lazy but i will continue where it is right now so i will insert the
crochet hook through all of these stitches and I will grab the yarn pull through all of these six loops like that and then I will make I will make one single crochet under all of these loops just be careful that you don't miss any loop like that just make a simple single crochet into each and every single crochet but into the corner one where we have placed our stitch markers we are going to make three double crochets two we have four layers of stitches here so make sure to go through all of four stitches like that grab your yarn make one single crochet two single crochet and then it's not going to be easy to make stitches through <laughs> four layers of the stitches but I'll try two three and four this is going to be our third single crochet <clears throat> I will do rest of the stitches off camera all you need to do is you go you have to go through all of off, all layers of the uh, stitches here we have three layers but in the corners we are going to have four layers one two three and four so we are going to make one single crochet into each and every stitches by go going through all these three layers and into the corner we should have four layers so we are going to make uh, stitchy uh, single crochet through all four layers so we are going to make three single crochets in into the corner and one single crochet into the rest of the stitches all the way to the end it's a lot of work so i will do off camera but uh, i have made a little bit section so you guys understand it a little bit better so i'm almost done i'm going to slip stitch into this first single crochet like that and then i'm going to make chain one and this is going to be our last round it is always problem with focusing so what we are going to do now is we are going to make one reverse single crochet it's also known as grab stitch so I am going to go we are going to work anti-clockwise so I'm going to insert crochet hook into the first available stitch going this way and I'm going to insert the hook grab the yarn I have two loops I'm going to pull through both loop both loops this is our next available single crochet I'm going to insert into that I have two loops I'm going to grab through both loops this is the um, pattern we are going to repeat we are going to just make one reverse single crochet into each and every single crochet we are not going to make any extra stitch into the corners repeat this stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end so i'm at the end of this round it's not regular single crochet so what we are going to do is cut the yarn pull the yarn through the loop and then we are not going to slip stitch in fact we are going to join it with the needle like that so 
so turn your work around so that wrong side of the work is facing you and then insert the yarn insert the needle into the first back post double crochet we made like that and then pull it and then we will just make some random stitches on the back side and we will make some knots and i will what you call it i mean i'm going to just weave in the ends so our pouch is ready um, it finished uh, i also made it first time in fact i made only the uh, triangles the rest of the um, pouch i made on camera i never made it before and uh, explaining how to assemble it it was a little bit tricky for me but still i tried my best and hopefully there was nothing like there was not anything that was confusing or anything like that but still if there is something you guys did not understand or if there is something confusing you can you guys can ask me in the comments and i will try my best to help you guys thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my video.